Okay, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna go over um, the Final Audio E 5000. Now first, I wanna start the video by saying this company is just uh, kind of interesting to me because it's like a small, like medium-sized um, Japanese audio company. And they say that their stuff is made by hand. Um, also, I do like their products. I like the look of their products. Their logo looks cool. Um, the word final and that font, all lowercase, looks cool. So I was just attracted to, to their company. Um, and it just so happens that they have good products. Now, let's go over the final audio, 5000. And then I will go into a small or I guess a short comparison between the 5,000 and 3,000 and 2,000. So this is the carrying case it comes with. It is rubber. It's pretty big, um, big and rubbery. And then it compresses the buds when you put them in like that. So when you Put these in here it literally pushes on them i guess to keep them in place and they'll move around i don't know if that's like the safest thing to do but whatever that's what they did um let's get that out of the way now here they are the five thousands it has a right angle uh 3.5 unbalanced And then it has this really nice uh, braided or weaved, like tangled um, cable. I think it's OCC. It's uh, copper covered in silver. And let's go into the buds. Let me check my Discord. Okay. So, here are the buds. There they are. That's the IEM. It's very shiny. These are very, very shiny IEMs. And removing them is almost impossible without the tool. I removed one and I tried to get it back on. And I had to take it, push it down against my uh, mouse mat, and really like jam it in and click it in. So don't um, be taking these off and putting them back on a lot. It's hard to do. So let me unravel that and just show off this cable. So that is the, the middle piece right there. It does come with a little chin slider. And the cable is very stiff, by the way. It holds its shape very well, um, which may or may not be a good thing. I guess it depends on your setup and what you do with your IEMs. Um, <clears throat> and there's the cable. There's the bud without a tip, again. Here's the other one. Now, you might have noticed I have the uh, the wrapping back on that's because i'm going to be returning these um from to amazon honestly i like the 3000s better and the 2000s better than these 5000s and i will explain why right now so the cable is a little stiff obviously i like my cable to be a little bit more flexible than this but i do love the look of the cable it's so like professional looking and um intriguing to look at and it's just very high quality material uh, i was reading the description and it says that uh the, the developer or one of the developers that developed the wires in the supercomputer in japan also participated in developing this wire which is kind of an interesting concept um, how those two worlds came together. 
It makes sense though, because audio does have, uh, you know, metallurgy um, in the industry when it comes to like OCC, OFC, um, silver coated, and um, you know, all those different materials and things. So now let's go into the sound. It's a very thick, warm sound, almost muffled, honestly but it's not quite muffled. Um, if you turn it up a lot, you get good detail, you get amazing bass. Um, it's really kind of like a, a full, I guess, spectrum of the sounds. Um, it's just thick and it's very interesting. I would say to, you know, listen to it. Now, it doesn't really fit my taste because I do like having detail, a lot of detail, but I don't like having harsh, um, harshness, you know, in the detail. These don't get harsh at all, but they are missing some detail. Um, and maybe when you break them in, the detail comes out even more, but... I don't want to, you know, have to wait for that. And I also don't like how dark it is. And for that reason, I like the E3000 much better. The E3000 uh, and this do have some similarities, but the E3000 have the open back, whereas these don't. Now these do have like a little open, um, hole right there and the sound stage does come out just a little bit like you can get a sense of um like separation and the i guess farness of sounds like how far each thing is which is cool to hear but it is better i think those far out sounds are represented better with the 3000 because of the open back the real open back in the 3000 um, also these do need a lot of power to drive. So I tried to use the Apple dongle and I had to pretty much max it out. I tried to use the Apple USB-C dongle and I had to absolutely max it out. And I used the Hibby, um, FC3. And that one, I think I had to about max it out on the phone and the, um, on the actual rocker, the volume rocker. Let me pull that out. <clears throat> now, that's the FC3. There's the volume rocker. And this, at its max, puts out 70 milliwatts. And the Apple stuff puts out, I think it's like 40 milliwatts. So that's why I had to max it out. Um, so I pretty much had to almost max this out. And this is 70. And I also have this right here. This is the... I don't remember what this is. The I don't know. It's Fio BTR... Uh, five, I think the BTR five, it's Bluetooth right there. You can also connect it has volume. Um, this puts out 80 at its max out of this one, out of that jack, and it puts out 240 out of the balanced. So this is 10 milliwatts higher than this. And I had to go pretty high up in volume, um, to get a really good sound. Usually I leave this at 30 to 35. I had to go up to 40 to 50 in volume. Um, and even at those levels, with this much power, it was still a little too warm. Um, and the detail was still a little bit recessed and it just wasn't my flavor, you know, of sound. So what, I also tried different tips. Let me let me say that. Um, 
So I have these tips right here. These are the spin fit smalls. I tried spin fit medium. I also tried the final tips. Um, and these fit the best, but they, they have to go in pretty deep. And it's, um, they're kind of big, like they're bigger than the two thousands and three thousands, I think. Let me see. Okay, they're about the same, actually. They are longer, though. Um, yeah, the 5,000 is just a little bit bigger. Barely. Barely. It's hard to tell, but I see the lip right there. So, that's also kind of um, a thing. That slight increase in size on the 5,000s, and this size thing also applies to the 4,000s, that slight increase in size makes them a little bit uncomfortable. Um, they're also heavy. Now, if you like really, really rich sound and just bass and like luscious um, audio, and you don't want too much detail, and you don't want high frequencies um, to be hurtful, like to your ears, then these are going to be great. You could blast these, and you get, like, this really big, like, warm wave of sound just going through your brain. Um, but for me, it is um, not as sparkly, and it is too warm. For me. So let's go to the 3000s. Now, as you can see, the 3000s have that open back. They are shorter. Let's see. They're just a touch shorter. Let's line those up right there. Let me pull this off. So hard to get the final tips off. So look at the metal, the size of the metal. See that? Yeah, okay. Um, and another thing is they are hard to drive, like I said before. And I maybe I need a different DAC. I don't know. Maybe this isn't powerful enough. Maybe I need to go to 100 watts out of unbalanced to get these to really like blow my mind. Um, but then I have to go buy more equipment and things. So if you have a very powerful DAC uh, or some type of amplifier and you light and you love really thick warm sound, uh, very bassy, fairly wide, um, no harsh frequencies, then these are definitely the kings. But if you want more detail, and I think even a wider sound, um, you know, and a more flexible cable and a few other things, like a smaller bud, then the 3000s are the way to go. Now, these 3000s are much easier to drive, and when I plug them up to this, that gives out 80 watt, uh, milliwatts at its max, they sound incredible. These are probably my absolute favorite ones, um, and so are the 2000s. The 2000s have, I think, more of a even like wider sound than these but there's just slightly less detail and less um resolution in the 2000s uh it's more of like a playful sound so if you're looking for just like a playful really groovy warm 
still detailed and wide sound than 2000s. If you want a more refined, like it, you know, sound, um, then go for the 3000s. And if you have that big amp and all that stuff I mentioned, then get the fives. Fives aren't for me, but they're definitely for some people out there. So, uh, that's my video about the Final E 5000.